we start? Yes. So you should have already built your thesis statement and you should have a list of topics that you need to address. And you know, anywhere between five and nine of them uh, would be great. It's better to have more than less. And if you find that your thesis statement is overly simple, Ask yourself, do I need to clarify any points within my thesis statement or do I need to add something additional um, to make my thesis a little bit richer, a little bit more um, to the point? Right, that elicits the right kinds of thinking. So. I'm going to share my screen again. And we're picking up right where we left off. And so what we're focused on right now is using these prompts to create topic sentences. And so I'm going to do it right underneath so that everybody can see the growth, right? So everybody can see like the progression of this. All right. So I have to take these these topics and I have to turn them into uh, a main idea, right? I have to turn them into a topic sentence, which basically, and you're going to see this in the next video, a topic sentence basically tells what's the point of this paragraph. So for what is happening, so I'm going to say there are many different uh, definitions and ways to understand happiness. philosophers and psychologists have um, argued over, see how terrible my typing is, argued over the true nature of happiness. Of years. Um, okay, so I'm just contextualizing. So I'm saying there's many different ways to understand and define happiness. Um, in order to discuss, and I might cut some of this later, discuss the idea of happiness being the We need a common definition. And now I'm going to stop right there. This is my point. This is my topic, right? So I'm introducing the topic. I'm not going to give any support right yet. Now, in my head, I'm thinking I would have put a note here for later. At the beginning of Will Storr's article, there's a great definition of what happiness is from Aristotle. So that might be it. Um, but I, I have to define happiness in this paragraph. And we're going to come back to this, but now I have a topic. Now, I'm going to go into this. And I'm going to put this down here. So now, here's this. And I'm going to highlight it. Just so that I know. So here's this. I also think it's important that we talk about individual versus social connections or conventions about happiness, right? So um, for this, I have to make a topic sentence for, so I might say something like, one of the things that makes happiness so challenging is that there are sets of cultural norms and ideas that promise to make everyone happy. Right, and I'm gonna put in parentheses so I don't lose my train of thought. I wanna talk about money, I wanna talk about 
jobs. I want to talk about success. I want to talk about how your house or your apartment, right? I want to talk about all these things. But I'm not doing that work right now. I'm just building. I'm just building my topic sentences. But I don't want to lose my. I don't want to lose my train of thought. So now it says uh, honesty and values, not lying to ourselves about what really matters. So I'm going to color this blue, just like the top one. I'm going to build a topic sentence here. Um, in order to achieve happiness, it's important to be honest and reflect on your goals. It is important to know why uh, we are pursuing goals and ideas. I'm going to put um, identity here. This is where I want to, oops, sorry. This is where I want to talk about identity. I want to talk about uh, values. Now here, down here, it says concrete goals. And notice, I'm just writing a sentence or two about each of these uh, topic sentences. So now I'm going concrete values. Uh, there's purple, pink, whatever color that is. Um, and so why are goals important? So here I'm going to put um, having goals aligned with your identity and sense of purpose uh, give you something meaningful to pursue and ensure you are spending your time on what matters to you. And so as we look through, I'm getting a phone call here, but they can wait. Um, as we look through, so why are goals important? Um, you know, have goals aligned. Do you it's important to have goals aligned with your identity and sense of purpose because it gives you something meaningful per, to pursue. And whenever you're writing a topic sentence, um, feel free to just use like things like it's important or um, just start right out. With, with what you're saying. You can always go back and edit for content later, but what we're trying to do, as, as I mentioned, is we're trying to, um, we're trying to boil this, break this into parts. And when I'm thinking about this, I'm already thinking about um, store, I'm thinking about um, Mark Manson, right? So store was talking about having goals and health Mark Manson was talking about um, having good problems, problems that you want to solve that are worth solving. And so for all of these, and I'm not going to, um, and then like here, uh, choosing the right path. I'm not sure this, I'm not sure this is going to be important anymore. I'm going to cross this out because it feels like this goal is choosing the right path. Right. And then I want to talk about um, having the right goals allows us to use our gifts 
and talents. to um, change our world for the better. And notice, this is going to be through your eyes, right? Like, if you're using your goals and your gifts and talents, excuse me, if you're setting goals and using your gifts and talents to achieve those goals, and those goals impact other people, you're having a positive impact from your perspective on the world. And so I'm trying to articulate all of this. I'm trying to make it all make sense, right? And maybe I don't have... Uh, great resource for this right now. So I'm just going to put a question mark next to it. This was great. And this was that weird brown color, like mustard. I don't know. Okay, so as we look at this, now, without doing much, Right. And you saw it. So it's taken me about 10 minutes on this video, about eight minutes on the last one. Without doing much, what we have is we've lined up all of these different ideas, all of these different topics that we need. And we've given ourselves some things to think about. Right. We know where we can go to. Um, to find these sources. So I'm going to leave you here. And what I want you to do for the remainder of um, this class. Please. Well, for for the next half hour or so, um, I, I want you to think about how are you going to create topic sentences that uh, give you a way to lead into the rest of what you're doing. OK, and if you have questions, as always, feel free to email me um, and uh, I hope you find this helpful.